Uh, Josh Green here for Tennis and Tales. Delighted to be joined by Diogo Portella. Um, Diogo, you were supposed to be over in the Netherlands now, but not to be. But all eyes on the World Championship. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, Josh. Thank you for having me here once again. I appreciate the opportunity. And yes, yes, I, uh, as we are talking uh, off cameras here, um, I had uh, my preparation for the words like, really really well planned really well thought um and it would terminate it would finish it would complete this this weekend in the in the world masters but uh since last weekend when i came back from modus i actually fell down really sick uh it just got a bad bad flu it put me in bed for three or four days uh with temperature body ache and yeah i had to make a decision and it was really, really, really hard to me because I, I really want to go up to up to the moment that he's supposed to get my flight or whatever. I was thinking I still can go, I still can make it. But then I thought if I got worse, I would actually have to like give up the the world championship sport. So I thought about the bigger picture, and yeah, I uh, I need I needed to recover to be honest uh, I, I wouldn't be fit if, if I had to play yesterday I wouldn't be fit I was I wasn't fit at home you know so imagine if I was if I had to travel and uh, play tournaments and you know it's just it takes a lot of you so even if I was well for one day you probably would have had a bad bad second day you know and uh, uh, I didn't want that to interfere in my preparation my my uh uh, how can I say my health for the world? You know, my health stays for the world. So mm -hmm. thinking about the bigger picture, yeah, I had to, uh, I had to give that in. Yeah. Mm. Well, we're glad to hear you're you're on the mend, starting to feel a little bit better now. Um, all in time for the World Championships. You've been there a few times now over at Ali Pali. Is the feeling still the same? I'm sure it's a little bit different this time with how you're feeling. Uh, health wise, but does it? How does it feel going into Ali Pali this year? No, it's always it's the best tournament in the world. It's to be honest, it's it's where I think it produced my best arts. Um, I love that stage. I love the atmosphere. I'm in a very, very, very good session. I I, I don't think I've ever played in a session like that before, so that's gonna be something new for me. Um, uh, but also for the first time, I uh, I'm playing so someone that I have already played a few times before, someone that I know and someone that I've beaten before, you know, and it it didn't really happen uh, ever in the World Championship for me, you know, so um, it's it's a new experience. Let's see how I deal with it. You know, I know Cameron Menz has been playing a lot better than the last time we've played. Uh, I probably am not playing as as well as I, as I was, but it it doesn't really matter when you get there as long as you play the best out for that half an hour one hour session there. That's that's uh, where things count, you know. Mm. Yeah, form goes out the window on that stage. You've been there. You've got a win on that Ali Pali stage. Cameron Menzies hasn't. You may give you the experience edge. It's going to be one of those games. It's going to be quick it's going to have good flow i think it's going to be one that's going to deliver some good darts yeah the, the session is very promising you know yeah. but Lisa ashton and then us and then um josh rock and ending with dimitri so it's a, it's a very very good session to be honest i'm, I'm <laughs> very um uh pleased to be involved in in that session because uh yeah, uh, it, it speaks it speaks for itself, isn't it? So I uh, hopefully I can uh, get myself uh, uh, ready and and deliver what what I think I can. Hmm. Let's talk about your qualification over in Costa Rica. So you won on the first day, and then out uh, in the round of sixteen on day two. Was there a little bit of a, a nervous wait before you had to go into that playoff? Did you sort of know what was going on? Yeah, so I think it's, uh, it counts as an experience, isn't it? Because uh, all the time before, um, it was only one day. And this time was the first time they had two days. And the fact that I uh, I won the first day, um, apart from one game where I uh, didn't really play well, mm. I uh, I play, I, I, I dominate the other games quite easily. 
And in the second day, I thought uh, the I had put an estate plan, you know, and and that would fear the other players. And he, he kind of played with that in my hands and it, it didn't work really well. So it, it's, it's a learning curve, isn't it? It's, I think it's a... Uh, is an experience for me as well. I know I've been, I've done that a few times, but uh, every time the rules changed, everything's changed. Um, and it was a good, good learning for me. Uh, and I hope I put it right next year. I don't want everyone to ever think they can win a game again uh, against me again, you know? So yeah, let's see. <laughs> um, talk to me about, the playoff match you had to play was how much expectation was there on you? Did it feel like all the pressure was on you? Uh, to to be honest, I uh, it was easier playing the the qualification match there. The harder point was when I got knocked out, and I had to. I was depending on results, and I think no one no one likes to. Uh, no one in that world would like to depend on results from other players mm. to actually have your qualification there or not. Um, and I, up to the point of the semi-final, there was, uh, well, up to the final, actually, I could have mm. not actually played the qualifiers, the, the, the final match, you know. Um, but uh, well, as soon as the game is finished and I, uh, and I knew... I was gonna play like and I know I'm the best player here, so mm-hmm. it's just down to me to do what I do best and uh, and and win this game, you know. And and it was a little bit easier when it when he came back. The 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 decision point came back to my hands, you know. Like uh, I only need to throw darts better than him, and and that's what I did. So um, I still believe I'm the best player in, in South America. I I am far away from my best form, but I still believe. Uh, I am a dominant for, force there, and uh, I hope to be there for uh, to be like this for the for the next few years. To be honest, mm. what was the the standard like over in Costa Rica? I mean, I know the numbers were a little better than than before. What what was the experience like as a whole? Yeah, I mean, I've I I had already played every single player that it was that you know the the best players we. Every time I'm in Costa Rica, I uh, I go there for a week mm. because of the time difference. So every night of the week, they have tournaments that they have a, a knockout tournament every single day from Monday to Monday. You know, through the whole year, there's no one week break. So I try I try to go there and try to get uh, my my game, my uh, my uh, my arm going. You know, even though I had just come back from a long trip and blah blah blah. I try to get back as yes, uh, to, to try to settle in that time um, as quick as I can, you know. So I go out and I play uh, most of the days, to be honest with them. Mm. And uh, uh, I, I I can see that the level is has been improving a lot in just one year, you know. In in terms of average, the, the ones I played last year. The ones I played this year, the average went up sometimes thirty points. You know, yeah. Um, yeah so I, I play play a few players last year, and all of them was like about forty five, fifty average. You know, Diego in the final had sixty average, but this time I had seventy odds average against me. You know, not only once but a couple of times, and it it, it just show the difference. You know, even uh, uh, Jesus Salate, which I made the final against. He, he averaged 77 in the final, if I'm not wrong. So that shows the, the improvement. You know, I know Salati is not in South America, but Salati is, Salati is in, in Spain. But even though last year he couldn't produce it, this year he did. Um, so that shows the improvement that players has been focused on it. I think, uh, and I understand them because, to be honest, they, they have... In theory, they have only me to beat there. So if they uh, they can produce their best against me, then uh, they should be fine for the rest of the tournament, you know. Um, but that's a big, big pressure on me, big uh, aiming point in my back, you know. I got a target in my back, and I uh, I learned that they see uh, that it it only make things more more and more difficult. To be honest. Mm-hmm. 
how has the year been as a whole for you? Obviously, as a non-tour card holder, there's loads of options now, whether it be on the WDF circuit, we see what's going on with Modus, um, ADC as well. Not having a tour card now isn't the end of the world. There's ways to play darts and earn money from it. Yes, true. I'm very, very, very uh, grateful and, and lucky to have the sponsors to back me up in whatever I want to do. You know, some sponsors, they uh, they can be really attached to the PDC, but my sponsors, they say, if you don't get a tool card, we go with you whatever you want. And uh, that's that's very good. So I, I, I really have to take every single one of them. Um, and yeah. It was a it was a recovery year to be honest because the last two years before this one, I had very very uh, uh, difficult problems in my personal life, mm -hmm. and that wasn't a priority anymore. And this year, I uh, I try to bring my confidence back, you know, try to get uh, my action back in the way it was, you know, my technique to back the way it was, uh, and and for moments I found it. You know, I have I've, I had very very good results, very good tournaments over the year, um, but I still quite not there. Mm. Yeah, and uh, and probably I'll have to take another year to find myself again. You know, um, because I'm changing my dots for next year, so that there will be a little bit of a adjustment to do next year. But I think it was a recovery year. It was a very good. I'm I'm feeling stronger than ever, my mental side of it. Yeah. And I'm feeling more confident than ever. But my form is still have a match the way I feel uh mentally and uh, confident, you know. But uh I, I even though I've had great results, you know, I've won back to back to local tournaments where only Chris Dobby did it before. Uh I've beaten Christobi in a way that, you know, mm -hmm. so that's, that's a, for itself, she's a big, big win, you know, um, I, uh, I qualify for the UK Open, for example, and in a difficult field there, in a, in a Riley Victoria, where only this prize was to, 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 to take, and I, and I got it, I've had very, very good runs, and very, very good results in the WDF tournament, I was actually quite regular, uh, in terms of picking points in the in the WDF tournament, so basically every time I went away, I come back with at least less than two, less sixteen, some runs to semi-finals in the in the WDF tournament. So I would take that it was very very positive, considering I'm out of form. I just came back from like very uh, depression uh, moments in my personal life. My mental health wasn't good, so it was a very po positive year overall for me. But yeah. so, sorry about the background noise. Is, uh... <laughs> Filha, sorry about that. Filha, por favor, papai tá, tá trabalhando aqui, tá? Fica quietinho. Sorry about that. No um, worries, But yes, uh, in summary, it was a very, very good year. But maybe I need uh, another year to, to come back to my uh, to my top level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the question that, that everybody asks, but is... Q school still the plan for you and yes. obviously it's not it's not the end of the world if you don't get a card as I've said but if you were to be on the pro tour that that would be a good place to be yes I don't mind it even if I'm out of form if someone handed me the card I'll take it you know <laughs> I uh <laughs> it, it can only it's the best place to learn you know and I did it when back in 2017 when I didn't have a two card but I uh, uh uh I was a reserve for the whole year 2017 and 18, I was a reserve for, for the whole year, and that was when I played my best darts ever. So mm. I um I don't mind. I want to go there and I want to try to get my tool card. Uh, I know I probably I I I don't have as much chance as I uh, I used to have, um, but uh, I will do my best. I know how to win games now where I I before I didn't, you know and. If, even if I have to win with 70 yard average or win with 70 yard average, you know, that's that's me nowadays, you know, where before I would play 96 and lose games, you know, and mm. I, uh, I, I'm i kind of the opposite now. And mm. hopefully that that kind of mentality um, helps me fighting for the two card, as did this year, kind of, you know, yeah. I, I 
I didn't get for one point. So I wasn't far off. Maybe maybe next year is different. Mm. You mentioned about playing your best stuff when you were on the Pro Tour. Do you feel like you need the big challenges like the Pro Tour, like turning up at Ali Pali to produce your best stuff? Yes. It's, it's not it's not that. It's the, it's the preparation. You know, when I was in the Pro Tour, my whole life was about what I would do in the Pro Tour. It was the preparation. It was the what time I wake up, what I have to breakfast, what time I go to the practice board. When I was doing this at home, I was doing exactly the same time as I do in the Pro Tour, okay? Because they have the, the routine there. You know, the doors open at nine, the draw comes up at 11, you start playing at 12. You maybe start playing at one if you were the less, the less uh, player to, 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 to be draw, but um, usually, 12, half 12 is where you start playing. You, you got to be for real there. So that was my Monday to Friday routine. I would wake up, have a breakfast, exactly the same thing I was I was going to do in the hotels and these kind of things. When you play challenge, too, when you play local competitions, when you play modus, when you play any other kind of competition, I'm not slagging anyone off here. I'm just saying it's completely different. Even a challenge tool being run by the PDC, you know, the doors opens at eight, you start playing at half nine, ten, you know, uh, that's it. You know, you don't have three hours preparation. You know, you have to wake up six in the morning instead of eight. You know, you have to, it's it's a lot harder because uh, it's completely different. I cannot like reproduce that in my normal daily routine you know it's it's very very hard to do that so when i was in the pro it was a lot easy to replicate and getting that time comfort to start playing at 12 than to start playing at 10 in the morning you know uh it's 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 very hard it's not only because uh, i'm lazy i need to sleep a little bit longer it's not it's because i gotta take the kids for school come back i'm not in the time anymore you know just simple things like that it doesn't allow me to replicate that you know and yeah uh i think i need to find a way to mimic that uh, the 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 second tier tool let's say um in my personal life so i can produce my best ones and then become a professional that I play again yeah well that's the plan hopefully uh, we'll see a big win up on Ali Pali stage in what, just over a, just over a week's time. It's not long now, is it, Diogo? So uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, one more week time. I'll be going to London, um, uh, getting a hotel there and start the start the preparation. I'll finish the preparation for the big game. Lovely. Well, we look forward to seeing you down there. I'll be down there every uh, every night. So hopefully, see you after your first round game, mate. Yeah. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate it.